Hello my chickens, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a Bella Hadid hair and makeup tutorial. I haven't done a celebrity inspired look in a really long time, so I thought let's go ahead and do that. The photo that I am inspired by is this one right here, I'll put it up on the screen. She is that hot, I don't actually understand. I definitely don't look anything like her, but I'm just going to do the same makeup and hair. Starting off with the eyes, as per usual, I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade 03. So I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows. Uh, Bella's eyebrows are pretty natural, but because I do have mine tattooed on, I don't think it's really an option for them to look natural. So I'm just going to take a flat definer brush. This is from Sigma, and I'm just going to clean up underneath here. And obviously when you're doing an inspired look, it doesn't have to be the exact same. You can just like pull things from the makeup. Of course, as soon as I start filming, my neighbor decides to mow his lawn. Yep. Yep. Hope you can't hear it. I don't think you can. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Tommy just sent me the cutest message ever. What the hell? Tommy goes, guess what, baby? And I'm like, you love me? And he's like, yes. And I can't wait till we're in a position till we can have kids together. You're going to be the best mom ever. Oh my God, that is literally the cutest message I've ever got in my life. So the palette that I'm going to use is the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights palette. I have actually never used this one. I'm really, really excited to because the colors in here are freaking amazing. So you can see there's lots of bronzy colors and then we have some pops of colors down the bottom here. So I'm going to go in with these two. No. These two right here, so the two cool tone browns. Um, firstly, I'm just gonna pop it in my crease just to add a little bit of depth there. She has eyes that are like really pulled back like this. Obviously, I don't have the facilities for that. Right, so firstly, just patting this in my crease right here. So I guess the key thing with the eyes on this look is that we wanna blend it out to a cat eye out here. So all the eyeshadow we can blend out, we'll do a smoky winged liner, like just with some eyeshadow so we can have that cat eye effect. And then we'll do some like cat eye uh, eyelashes as well. So we can just like mimic that look. One moment, please. I'm going to do a TikTok. My loneliness is killing me. And I, I must confess that I still believe. Oh my God, I'm so annoying. It's so weird. As soon as you open TikTok, it just goes, it like it just starts playing straight away. And I'm like, oh, relax. Fuck, I missed it. Ah! <laughs> Got it. Then going in with this darker cool tone brown. I'm just going to tap a lot of it off and I'm just going to pop this in my crease right here. I'm going to blend it out so it isn't as dark because it's very pigmented. Holy shit, I did not expect it to be that dark. Help. The next color I'm going to take is this bronzy color right here. I'm just going to pack this on the lid. I'm going to bring this up nice and high up here. So we can have a bit of a shine when the eye is open as well. Because I've got hooded eyes. I definitely think this is a highlight instead of an eyeshadow though. Because it's very loose. Like loosely packed. You can kind of see through it. Which I really like actually. Next up I'm taking this black. That is a very, very matte black. So I'm just going to do a little wing. And this is where we're really going to pull that out once again. Um, but holy crap. We have very different eye shapes. So I'm just going to look up. And then place the angled brush down. And then just like try my best to make a wing. I've always been so shit at wings. So that's fun. Alright, I'm gonna go pop on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, my eyelashes are on. Um, for the face, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Professional. This is the Pearl Primer. My skin is breaking out so much at the moment. Yeah, I don't know what has happened for my face to get like this. I think it's um dairy maybe, a little bit of dairy, but I think mostly my period. That time of the month, hi. I also just got sent this new Fenty Beauty What It Do. Uh, makeup refreshing spray. I'm just gonna put a bit of this on my face. Oh, the spritz is really good mm. Even though I'm not refreshing my makeup, but I just want a little bit of wetness on my face Okay foundation. I'm gonna go in with the born this way Too faced foundation and today I'm gonna use the shade sand um, It's gonna be very dark compared to my skin on my face. Just keep that in mind But we're gonna try and match it to the neck then for concealer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. 
Um, I feel like I haven't really been chatting with you guys because I've been concentrating so much on the makeup. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to say, hello, how are you going? I've been so busy this week. It's actually insane. Wait, it's Monday. Wait, is it Monday? What day is it? Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> See, like I don't even know what day it is. Um, I had a really, really good weekend with the fam. I went to the beach, which was really nice just to be able to switch off and just like hang with mum, dad, Callum, Kate and Haley. It was honestly amazing just to have like everyone here all at once. Um, wow, this concealer has such amazing coverage. I can't. I think my YouTube schedule now is kind of more like one video a week. Um, just because I have so much other work to do as well. And I've got TikTok now, so I'm posting on there. So, um, yeah, we've got Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. There's lots. There's lots of different accounts that I'm posting on. Then we've also got my swim, Silk Swim. Um, we have something new coming very soon. So you guys should definitely head over to the Silk Instagram. Have a little look-see. Also, we've had so many improvements on the website which is taking a while, but it looks so good. I'm so happy with the website now, oh my God. All right, so the next step is taking some uh, foundation. This is a few shades darker so I can contour. It's from Bobbi Brown. Uh, Bella has a very defined jawline, so we're gonna go quite heavy with the cream contour. I feel like cream, cream always looks a little bit more natural, even though it's obviously not looking natural, but just the finish of it looks so much better. Moving on, I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. Uh, with some translucent powder because I don't want that to crease under there and then I'm also going to set uh, my laugh lines as well Got a few nice little wrinkles coming up there, so I don't want that to pop out I noticed my face always looks super airbrushed when I set it. I did go through a phase where I didn't use powder on my face at all, but obviously There's a specific look we're going for today, okay? I'm just gonna set my face with the Australis fresh and flawless pressed powder so going in with a transition shade all the way from outer corner to inner corner. It kind of looked like she had some shimmer under there as well. So I'm going to take that shimmery shade and just pop that on top. I haven't done shimmer under the eyes for a long time. So this is weird. For the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Brow Styler. I use the shade 3 and I only use the waxy end. So she has a little bit of an arch. Um, obviously because her face is so much like this. So... I'm going to make sure when I'm doing my brows, I don't go down. I just kind of stay up as high as possible up here. I'm just going to cover the tail of my brow up with a little bit of concealer, just my brow tattooing. Now it's time for the bronzer and the face. I'm so excited to finish this off because I'm really liking how it looks. So we're going to go in with the MAC bronzing powder and this one's in the shade Refined Golden. Um, I don't really have too many bronzers that I love. I just have a couple, so... This is one of them. I really want to get a new one though. If anyone knows of any good bronzers, let me know. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Desert Pink Blush. I'm gonna go wow. I'm going to go in with a lot of this because she does have quite rosy cheeks. I'm just going to put this on the apples and then blend it all the way back here. I just think it's crazy how we'll cover all of the redness on our face and then just go straight back in with pink on the cheeks. I'm going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This stuff is incredible. Mm -mm. Okay, that was dramatic. Oh, that felt so good. All right, moving on to the highlight. She had a really nice glow on the cheeks. So I'm going to go in with the, what is this called? All Over Face and Body Highlight in Molten Glow by Jouer, I think. Yeah, Jouer Cosmetics. It's so pretty. I'm just going to... Pat this on. Holy shit. No wonder why it's an all over body one as well. That is wild. I'm also going to take a little bit up on my forehead here because she did have a bit of a glow up there. And obviously because I've gone in uh, with that powder, my face is really matte. So I'm just going to add that back right there. You know what I haven't used in such a long time? The Kylie Cosmetics lip liners this one's in the shade malibu so i'm just gonna line my lips um it looked like she had a tiny bit of like gloss in the middle but the rest look pretty matte i'm thinking that's a little bit too, ah, too purple for my whole lip so for the middle i'm gonna go on with the charlotte tilbury jk magic lipstick it's a bit more pink and i'm gonna blend this out all over 
Okay, so the makeup is done. Now it's time to go do the hair. So I'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom with me. So let's go. Hi. Okay, so you will notice that the sound is very bad in the bathroom because it's obviously echoey. So I'm very sorry about that, but like, I hate doing my hair in that filming room because there's literally five lights around me. I cannot deal. My hair is a little bit shorter than hers, so uh, it will look a little bit different, but I'm still gonna do the same style. You can obviously use a ponytail extension as well if you do want a longer pony, but the long ponies that I have are literally, I like this long, so I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'll just use my natural hair. Oh, it looks like a mullet. <laughs> All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of hair out for my fringe. So I'm just gonna take a comb and get that little chunk out. <laughs> Wait, by the way, wow, I just said boy, I'm so sorry about that. What the fuck? Oh my god, I thought I just had nits. <laughs> Definitely dangerous. That really scared me. Alright, so the next step is to brush your hair up into a ponytail. Uh, the trick is here to do it very, very tight. So what I like to do is wet my hair just so I can kind of like get all the flyaways into place. Later on, I will obviously go in and gel it and all of that stuff. But I don't know, my hair's really, really soft and fluffy, not complaining, but... Yeah, it makes it really hard to kind of style it. So just wetting her. Then I'm going to take a fine tooth comb and I'm going to comb my hair up so it is perfectly neat. Don't forget to do underneath your head as well. I'm sorry, there's like a ball sack in between my brows. I know that's kind of distracting. Oh, there it goes. So I'm just going to take my hair tie. This one is the best. Don't know how to describe it. Don't know, but it actually is amazing. Um, I'm going to do this really, really tight. Oh god. Also, because the hair tie is so thick, as you can see right here, it kind of makes the hair stick upwards, which is great. Now taking some grit paste, I'm just going to rub this in between my fingers, get my fingers nice and sticky, and then we're going to take that up on the edges to make that super slick. And I just washed my hair last night, love that for me. Then going back in with that comb. This is what we're going to make it look really, really neat. All right, so now I'm just going to brush my fringe down to one side behind my ear. Then I'm just going to bobby pin this down under here. Now it's time to go in and straighten the hair. What is on my straightener? <sighs> a flower. Um, so I'm just going to straighten it down to about here and then you're just going to curl it upwards just like that. Oh my God, crazy. Up she goes. <laughs> I think the most important thing is to definitely break it up. It's making it so much easier. You can kind of skim over it together as well. Next step is to take a little bit of your hair from your ponytail and then wrap it around your hair tie. This is going to make a really big difference. So I would recommend not skipping this step. Um, and then it's really important to go on some volume powder as well to make the ponytail look a little bit bigger. Because if you have short hair like me, it might look a little bit sad, like that. All right, so now taking some volume powder. This is literally just from Woolies. It's so good. Oh, my, wow, I just went everywhere. Um, I don't know how to pr pronounce the brand, but this is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to kind of dust this in the top of my pony and then just, like, puff it up a bit. And it just adds so much volume. Just kind of play around until you get the design look. Oh, okay guys, so the hair is done. I'm just adding some eye contacts in right now. I know for some people this is like really uncomfortable to watch, so <laughs> gonna not do this on camera. Okay guys, so the eye contacts are in. I have blue eyes now. This is from Desio. They're just like one day eye contacts, but they're actually pretty comfortable considering there's something in my eyeballs. But anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you do want to see more celebrity inspired looks, make sure you let me know in the comments below because I had so much fun filming it. Um, I did just notice that I actually curled the hair outwards instead of inwards. It's supposed to go underneath. So if you guys do want to um, have more of a look like hers, then you can definitely do that. But um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, oh no, it's going flat already. I feel like very 90s right now. It's fun. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I haven't said that in so long, so make sure you do it. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.